Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, I was actually trying to make the trek easier to Robbathar, and we ran into a dragon. Again. So, uh, yeah. That became a thing. Uh, this is a named dragon. Holy shit. Did not think we could find a named dragon. And we're going to get to specially execute him, even though I'm stuck in the snow a bit. There we go. Vintoruth. Vintoruth. Vintoruth, I think. I don't know. Oh shit, I'm carrying too many dragon bones. Hey, dear, could you be there be for me? Things you just can't be bothered with. It's not that I can't be bothered with, it just it weighs too much. <laughs> okay. First dragon kill of the episode was pretty good compared to how last episode went, so we're good. And it was a named dragon to boot. Now, I saw this, and then because I noticed it was right nearby here, and I realized there's a lot of dragon... not dragon. <laughs> That's a dragon soul. Great lift at Raldbathar. There's a lot of areas that are connected to Raldbathar. Uh, or more or less dwarven ruins in and of themselves which is really weird considering how we're on the area near Windhelm and Markarth is the dwarven ruins area so uh, it just threw me off a little bit figured I'd check it out although it seems like it's just the uh, random great lift back down into it I guess anyway with that in mind, oh, there's a couple people down here. So, yeah, fire breath. There we go. Get that one down. Take this thug down. Seems they were in iron armor. Okay, yeah, pretty much iron armor. The other one was kind of damaged a lot. No, I'm not going to. And I'm going to cut you down like that. That had to hurt. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay. Take all his stuff. Alright, and I think that's about it around here. It's about all of the enemies that are in this area. So, time to go into Raldbathar. I think that's how it's pronounced anyway. I might be wrong. I might be completely utterly wrong and butchering it immensely. But I'm pretty sure it's right. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alrighty, my ears are itching a little bit. My headphones are not exactly the comfiest. Okay. Oh, there's a plunderer here. That's fire bolts in a little bit. Oops, I'm missing everything. There we go. <laughs> and done right. That's for sure. Well, kind of. I missed several times. Okay. They were using this to cook a uh, skeever, apparently. Take the hide, at least. And they're going to be all over this place, so we're going to be a little sneaky sneaky. Sneaky kitty. That's what we're going to be. Well, a little bit. Some ways we're going to fail that. Utterly. Some ways we are not. Shit. what I just say? We're going to fail that. Oh, he dodged it completely. Uh, yeah. Great one. I'll use this for right now. And he's in yours. Yeah, he's in plate now. Pretty much. Yeah, there we go. That one's down. This one's an archer. I was hoping that would hit them. I don't think it did. Uh, fortify health and another healing potion. Oh, it did. Cool. And down you go, motherfucker. Alright. We are good now. More or less. I got hit by one of Serana's bolts again. I hate when that happens. And the thug had not that much. Okay. 
Yeah, he pretty much had all plate except for the armor. Huh, that's a weird getup. And of course she's stuck crouching again. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna take that sweet roll. I want it. It's mine now. It was part of a bandit camp's loot. I can have it if I want. God damn it. It's a bunch of Nord mead. It's a bunch of beds. They're all rock. That sucks. Rock beds would probably be the most uncomfortable thing to be laying on ever. Ooh. I can bump these up a bit. Might as well, right? Alright. And... This is a master lock. But it helped me get around them a little bit to another vantage point. Fucking cocky doodle dee. There's a damn spot. Fucking cocky. Gobbler. Come on. There it is. Whoo okay, I'm getting close, but I'm also getting frustrated. Fuck! My jaw cracked when I did that. <laughs> That's never a good sign. Gaiberg. Fuck you! With a cactus! was pretty much on point. Fuck you! Ah! Good thing I have like nine million of them. Titty, titty, fuck, fuck. <sighs> okay. Give me a moment. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. No, I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna be angry at everything. At everyone. Forever! <sighs> okay. Is that it? No. No, it is not. Whoop. Oh, inches, inches, inches away. Ha! Gotcha, bitch. Fuck you. All right. Now. I could go with the crossbows that are up here. Or... I can also light the gas around them aflame. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this. Then do this. And then do this. For the hell of it. <laughs> Come on, damn it. Burn already. God damn it, I miss everything. There we go. Oh shit. I'm gonna shut There we go. Whew, alright. Now we take out the great sword. And down we go. Done and done. And I upped my heavy armor with that exchange. What? He didn't get hit once? How did that happen? I don't know how you made it this far, but you'll go no farther. Okay, oh, alrighty. Uh, it's, I find it funny. You can't really get me. <laughs> oh wow. You'll go no farther unless you're awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that was pathetic. Okay, the consortium key, which is probably the key to that thing over there. <sighs> okay then. Ooh, let's pick that up. It's a knife. The last seed. Volume 8. Nope. Nothing good there. Oh, there's a chest. I almost missed that. And it's a lock. God fucking cockle doodle do. Yep, that's not it. How about here? Nope. How about here? Fucking fuck you. You shit. There we go. God damn. Okay. Take all this. Reaping. It's 
stamina. Okay, reaping. That's that, that's a weird word. That is a really weird word. And I'll take that. Uh, okay, filter of alteration. It's useless. And a chest with the crossbow schematic. Awesome. And I'll take all this because why the fuck not? Ooh, another one. Fuck. I'm gonna be doing this the whole time because there's a lot of treasures behind that. <gasps> Is that there? Fuck, I'm close though. I'm really fucking close. Okay. Fuck! Okay. That was on the mark, you fucktarabba. This better be it. There it is. Whew, and I found the flawless sapphires from Madesi. Awesome. Take this, take this, take this, take this, take this, take this, take that, and take what's in here. Which is not too much, but it's still decent loot. Still decent loot. Fuck Taraba is a really new one on me. I don't know why I said that. Okay, what's in this chest over here? Or the door. Not chest. Fucking fuck. Uh, this seems to be a whole new area if I explored further, which I don't want to do. I want to get the hell out of here. Because I found what I came in here for. Oh, that's Dwemer Inquiries Volume 1. Oh, you fuck. Expert lock. Okay, fine. Nope. Didn't want to let me. But here. But in this area. Nope. Oh, it was on top. The whole time it was around the top. God damn it. Here was I thinking it was somewhere special. Fuck. Okay. Well, that was an exercise in futility. Oh, come on, let me get up here. Damn it. Alright. That's a whole bunch of stuff that I kind of want. That's not the gear. Didn't want the gear. The gears are useless. I can't melt them down for anything. Why would I want that? Yeah, there you go. Shite. Motherfucker. Okay. Run through this. There we go. Uh, yeah. Nothing really special there. So we're good. We are all good, and we are out. Woo! All right. Many steam animunculi remain active, making the exploration of dwarven ruins a dangerous prospect. Animunculi. That's a word I don't use often. <laughs> Ever, really. Yeah, look at that dwarven centurion. Head's kind of immovable, but everything else, holy crap. All right. We are good here. Now we get out. Uh, back to Serene. And then we'll learn how to make crossbow bolts for the dwarven variety, as well as the crossbow, which will be good. Then we'll have that whole thing done and sorted. Yes! That's the main drive <laughs> for these next few episodes, is getting that whole thing done. Because I want my dwarven crossbow. It's good. It's epic. And it causes them to stagger without the perk. So, yeah. Well, half the time it causes them to stagger. With the perk, it makes it all the time. Which is always fucking amazing. If you're able to make them stagger, then you're good. Alright, now the load's going to be a bit, apparently. And we don't have any music for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. And she's over there by the uh, forging area. Which makes sense. There she is. Hello. Hope you're getting along with Isron. He takes some getting used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am back with the schematic. You never disappoint. What have you got there? Yes. Is it really? It is. 
I was hoping we'd find this. You sent me to it's get a diagram it. for a Dwemer crossbow. Much more sophisticated and powerful than the ones we use. Well, that's good. Here, let me show you how it's made. Awesome. Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. And only Either Gunmar's way, Forge. I'll have apparently. some for sale soon. Because I can't do it anywhere else, from good the sound day. of it. All right. Now let's make that for us. Oh, see if we can. What we need for it is a bunch of dwarven metal ingots, which I can get. I have a bunch of them. I need this right now, sorry. Move away. There we go. There we go. Get all these. And gold ingot. Uh, make one of those. Why not? Oh, gee, really zoomed out of place there. And did I accidentally make a corundum ingot? Did I accidentally do that? No, I did not. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. Yeah. Very few people appreciate uh, let me, all the horrible things that can happen to you if you're not me, being cautious. Let me, let, let me, let me buy from you. It's not easy to get supplies way out here, but I'm managing. Yeah, I bet. Okay, let's take a look. Sometimes that's a glitch that happens where it pops up again, and if you try to speed through it, it'll make it pop up twice. And that's not a good thing. At all. It's not fun. <laughs> there we go. Get some of these, some of these, and sell this, sell these, sell that. I think I still need to make this shrine, so I'm going to keep that. Sell those, sell those, sell this, and sell this. And fuck it, sell that. <laughs> and I think I have a scroll to sell you too, yep. And potions nothing really special you ain't got much special in apparel either and you have a bunch of dwarven stuff now that's awesome All right, then. yeah blacksmith forge and dwarven uh where is it crossbow there it is and I'll sell her the old one because we don't need it anymore nor do we need the steel bolts because now we have at least 30. dwarven crossbow I'll buy bolts whatever you're looking to get rid of and you're going to because it's a lot of stuff there's those and that all right now we're good all right then now let's equip this new crossbow just so we can show off what it looks like there's my bolts all right yeah look at that Look at that, it is awesome. From the back view, kind of faces into the armor, but look at that. That is awesome. That's the best looking thing. And it pretty much works like any other crossbow. I didn't realize this was the uh, unarmed uh, knockback. But yeah, it just works like any other crossbow. Just point and shoot. We're not going to do that though, because that would be a waste of bolts. Now, I think we have a better chance of surviving here, don't you? A little bit. Need something? What can I do to help? All right. One more set of Dwemer plans to go. Awesome. I think I'll be sad when we're done collecting these. Oh. Who knows though? Maybe more plans will turn up in the future. Maybe. But I can't wait to see these drawings. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> all right, all right. Jeez. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is for the advanced schematic. And this is in Raldbathar. What? <laughs> okay, I guess we have to go back now. The fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to sell a few things, I think. Or did I sell them already? Yeah, I think I sold them. Okay. In that case, we will get the hell out of here. And we'll fast travel to Ralbathar. And find out how further within it actually is for that stuff. If it's right where the other one was, I'm going to be a little annoyed. Just a little. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, and back to Raldbathar. Oh, there we go. 
Mephala is a daedric prince of lies, secrets, and plots, and thoroughly enjoys meddling in the affairs of mortals. Well, of course, that's the only people she can get away with pulling that sort of shit with. Or, hey. Daedric prince gender is really hard to nail down. <laughs> they, they prefer some or another, or they don't really fucking care. It's a social construct. Alright, well, for them, it's like a meaningless social construct, but for us, it's... Yeah. Anyway, we'll go in, we'll find out how far it's in, and then I'll end the episode. Because <laughs> if it's too far in, then we'll leave that for that. If it's right where it was the first time, yeah, <laughs> I'll get it, then I'll end the episode. <laughs> what would be the point, then? It... You, you gotta be kidding me. It is exactly where the other one was. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. Thank you, Skyrim. <laughs> Ever so much. Oh my lord. Okay. I'll take that. Apparently, I missed that the first time. Oh, silly me. <laughs> what in the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Dude, you died for nothing. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well. I'll, uh, head to the entrance. So, need that, I think. And we'll call it good for right now. Okay, that was weird. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're playing together. And, you know, take a look at my Patreon. Decide whether or not you want to support me and this community or don't. It's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.